Hey YouTube, it's Penny. Today is Monday, June 4th, and I had a word I wanted to bring you. So this morning, this is what I heard from the Father. He said, listen my daughter, I have something to tell you. Follow closely what I am speaking to you this day. My time is short. I wasn't sure I had that right, so I erased it, and um, he said it again, so I think it's right. My time is short. You will see things begin to accelerate now. Come to me while there is still time, for the days grow shorter. All who call upon my name will be saved. Revelation and understanding come from me alone. Seek me for the answers to your questions. I will provide everything you need. Many will fall away. Do not be one of them. Trust me to lead and guide you. Keep your eyes on me alone, and you will not stumble in the dark, for I will lead you. Remember my promises. Write them on your heart and mind. Carry them with you wherever you go as a reminder of my love. My word is my bond. I will not break my covenant with you. Stay strong, little ones. Lean on me for your strength. I will uphold you. I will never let you go. You can trust me with your life. Um, so when he said, remember my promises, it reminded me on May 31st, I had a dream that I was going to upload separately and call it Promises, Promises, because it was, um, I had a dream and it was like a compilation video of all of the past videos that I've done that included, you know, dreams, visions, words um, that were about the promises of God. And it was almost like they'd been cut, cut and pasted and edited all together into one video. <clears throat> and so I went back through, um, not all of my videos are public, but there's uh, over 150 of them now. And I went back through and kind of looked at the ones that <clears throat> I kind of felt like he was making that compilation video out of and reminding myself about even though it's only been probably less than 20 percent of the stuff that he's given me most of it's been you know judgment related and warnings and stuff but um about 20 percent or so has been you know positive stuff for the elect promises basically <clears throat> and then this morning as i was thinking about this and praying about it um oh by the way before i get into that on, on May 31st, which was the very same day that I had this Promises, Promises dream, um, Sister Anna had a word from the Lord where he said, Do not forget my promises. I am faithful and true. I am your loving Father. Have you need of anything more? It's very similar to what I heard today. Um, so anyway, when I was praying about it this morning, I felt like he was also wanting to remind me and consequently have me remind you of the promises to the overcomers. So I'm going to bring this to you really quickly. <clears throat> so to him who that overcomes, will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of Elohim. He that overcomes shall not be hurt of the second death. To him that overcomes, I will give to eat of the manna, the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone and in the stone a new name written, which no man knows, saving he that receives it. And he that overcomes and keeps my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken into shivers, even as I received of my father, and I will give him the morning star. He that overcomes, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name of, out of the sefer of life, the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. He that overcomes, will I make a pillar in the temple of my Elohim, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my Elohim, and the name of the city of my Elohim, which is New Yerushalayim, Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven from my Elohim, and I will write upon him my new name. And lastly, to him who that overcomes, 
will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and, and sat down with my father in his throne. So let's write those promises on our heart and our mind. And here is the shofar for you. Barukata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ka'olam. Blessed are you, our Lord God, King of the Universe. Amen.